Woohoohoo! The big old deals that come with being one of the biggest female faces in all of gaming. Valkyrie has some gigantic choices to make, that being Rey from 100 Thieves. If you guys don't know, our last couple of videos coming up uh, about her have been about her upcoming contracts with 100 Thieves, to which apparently might not be her only gigantic contract to be signed. In case you missed it a couple weeks back, she brought up discussions that towards the end of this year, her contract with 100 Thieves would be expiring and would be up, driving the gigantic question with her blow up especially with among us if you guys don't know the single most watched streamer a uh, female streamer i should say in all of gaming the last quarter pokimane then retaking that title or at least making it very close when it comes to youtube female streamers she is the by far and away number one that being valky ray and i i still to this day i want to say valkyrie but either way those decisions keep on coming forth if you guys did not catch those clips yes i will play for you the first of which she talks about her contract being expired and the second of which saying they are now in discussions that being her and 100 thieves but she says she's not going anywhere which i think a majority of people thought she would be sticking out with 100 t did you resign with 100 thieves um my contract with 100 thieves ends in Dece november december so we shall see if i resign we shall see we shall see all right let's do but this is obviously not happening for in a very long time. Like, I'm still living here with the girls for like another eight months or something. I don't know. So, yeah, it's just, it's just ideas, just thinking and stuff. Yeah, but taxes, whoop. Yep, taxes are pretty, pretty big, pretty big. Um, Did you renew your contract with Heart of Tea? I did have a meeting. I had a meeting today with the Heart of Thieves. Um... Obviously, I'm not saying nothing. My contract isn't over until the end of the year, but it's, uh, we're in discussion. We're discussing. We're discussing. But I mean, like, I mean, it's a little obvious. I'm not going anywhere, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a little obvious, right? I, whatever. I, I mean, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I am leaking everything. <laughs> But then again, in the past couple of days, thanks to you who actually sent me these clips, I really do appreciate you guys. She goes on stream to talk about what we are here to talk about, that being some big, big contracts for a big name like Ray and some big choices to be made. She goes on to talk about a contract of which the length is two to four years, and then a second contract, which is two to five years. And I am making an assumption here, guys. I cannot confirm to you what that second contract is, but I, I, I would assume is that a YouTube contract. Her encouraged signing to YouTube right around a year ago. I thought that life-changing contract of which she has talked about has certainly changed her life financially and in other facets as well. I got to imagine maybe a re-signing is coming up for an extension of that contract. I don't know what else it would be. The first one, certainly so, you would assume, is a 100 Thieves contract, two to four years, and the next of which I'm going to assume might be a YouTube contract, especially with that kind of length. I don't know what else it would be. You guys can leave your comments down below. But she goes on to talk about the stress of making these gigantic choices, which are permanent for the next two to five years. Why do I keep saying C? Anyways, I don't work for Capcom. I don't. It's C in blue. Okay, listen. I've had a long day, okay? This is a long day. Like, I don't think you guys understand. The meeting I had yesterday is like a two to four year contract and then the meeting i had today is like two to five year contract and it's just big decisions it's really big decisions and i i feel like <sighs> my brain is poo poo is poo poo you know because like contracts those are permanent 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 contracts. Life decisions, yup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll be honest guys, you know, I'm just me. Yeah, I haven't had too many gigantic contract offers out there. I have luckily enough had a few offers I, I probably am not even allowed to talk about on this show, so I will not dive any deeper, but you got to put yourselves in those shoes. Now, someone like Ray, you know, you got to imagine other streamers have faced similar choices, especially ones of her caliber in the scene, whether to be re-signing with Twitch or an esports organization. Think about a guy like Timmy Tatman, who's looking for an esports organization right now 
now or a guy like Symphony who is questioning re-signing or a guy like Cloaksy who might have regretted signing a four or five year contract with FaZe Clan. Put yourselves in those shoes and realize these are big, big permanent choices that have to be made. And so the giant question is, will Ray go back to 100T? It seems very likely so. Will she stick it out with YouTube? It seems very likely so. Are those the two contracts she was talking about? I don't know, but it's really, really fun to talk about with all of you guys and see what you think about this one. Ray has easily become one of the biggest faces in all of gaming. And with that comes some gigantic choices to be made. And we'll see exactly what she does choose. Until next time, you guys know what to do, all right? All right, take a sip for me. Stay hydrated. It's going to keep on being busy around here. And I appreciate you guys watching and leaving comments down below. You guys are really creative. I, I've been sent a lot of DMs lately. You guys are really creative. Some of you are creepy, creepily creative, but it's funny. It's, uh, I'm gonna go. Okay, bye.